Hello, I'm Ed Moriarty, Director of Worldwide Marketing at TA Instruments. I'd like to welcome you and thank you for joining us in today's webinar. During the webinar, you can customize the viewing interface by arranging the windows to your liking. You can resize the window of your choice by clicking and dragging the bottom right corner of each window. If you get disconnected at any time, please use the instructions you received to log back in. You can access several different content windows by clicking the widgets at the bottom of the screen. These include speaker bio, additional file downloads, and the Q&A tool. If you need help, click the question mark widget. Please ask questions that you may have at any time during this presentation by submitting them through the Q&A window. We will answer as many of these as possible at the end of the webinar. Today, I would like to welcome Dial Holton to our webinar series. Dial is currently the product manager for TA Instruments Microcalimetry product line. Dial earned his PhD in Immunology and Microbiology at the Medical University of South Carolina. He has 20 years of experience in the field of life science, proteomics, and microcalimetry, and has been the worldwide microcalimetry product manager for TA Instruments for over seven years. He has published over 20 research and essay development papers in the areas of cancer research, immunochemistry, and microcalimetry. His experience in both academic research and industrial development laboratory environments brings a perspective that will include the importance of ITC instrument innovations and the reliability and performance levels required to ensure the highest quality with every ITC sample analysis. The topic of Dial's webinar is the Affinity ITC, a powerful new platform for automated and ultra-sensitive isothermal titration calimetry. Dial? Thank you for that introduction. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a new instrument from TA Instruments. TA is very excited about the introduction of the Infinity ITC and the Affinity ITC Auto. It is a step forward with automation and performance for the ultra-sensitive isothermal titration calorimetry. What others have attempted in ITC, TA Instruments has perfected. TA Instruments is located in Newcastle, Delaware. It's headquarters for manufacturing, for training, for customer support for most of the instruments manufactured by TA. However, the instruments I'm going to be talking to you today about are manufactured in Linden, Utah. The full line of microcalorimetry instruments are shown in this particular photo, where you can see ranging from a multi-channel DSC, or differential scanning calorimeter, all the way down to a nano ITC, either a standard volume or a low volume isothermal titration calorimeter. These calorimeters range in sensitivity from the milliwatt range to the nanowatt range as shown here for the differential scanning calorimeters, with the nano DSC being the most sensitive DSC that we offer. For isothermal titration calorimetry, it falls into the range of isothermal calorimetry as shown on this slide again ranging from the milliwatt range down to the nanowatt, which is our current nano ITC instrument. ITC is a technique where you look at molecular binding or molecular interactions. You look for macromolecules that interact with one another. You can look at the binding constant. You can determine stoichiometry, enthalpy, entropy, and the free energy of the reaction. You can look at complex macromolecules binding to one another. You can look at nanomaterials. You can look at competition experiments as well as enzyme kinetics. The ITC experimental approach also is not limited to just macromolecules that are biological, but also just about any protein that you would encounter that would react with an, another molecule you can study with ITC. The basics of ITC are that you mix two solutions. The idea that you do it incrementally in small injections, and when you do that, you get small peaks shown in the graph on the right-hand side. As it comes down to baseline and you're able to integrate the heat under the peaks, you began to saturate the binding sites. So you analyze those heat changes using an assumed model. 
When you do that, by solving the equation you see in the middle of the slide, delta G equal, minus, equal delta H minus T delta S, you then can begin to understand the mechanics of the binding reaction. You can rationalize it into structure. You can look at lead optimization. You can think about analyzing different mutants of proteins, as well as understanding all the driving forces that are uh, taking place when you have a molecular interaction. This graph is one that has been seen many times as you start to uh, compare different binding reactions. It is a bar graph that looks at the Gibbs free energy, seen in blue, the enthalpy, seen in green, and the red bars represent the entropy contribution. And as you look at those, you see that many of those particular driving forces contribute to things like polar desolvation, any structure changes that take place, looking at hydrogen bonds and van der Waal forces that take place, all of that can be compared in one graph and gives you a nice thermodynamic signature for the binding reaction that is taking place. And ultimately, you're solving the equations seen on the right as we saw in the previous slide. The instruments that we're introducing today is the Affinity ITC and Affinity ITC Auto. The manual version as seen on the left hand side is one that uh, will have innovations that I will talk about in later slides and is fully upgradable in the field to a fully automated system, the picture you see on the right hand side. The Affinity ITC has an access port for the sample and reference cells just as it does on almost any ITC you would buy today. But you have an injection syringe arm that will we'll talk about some automated functions that take place that are not available on any other instrument. And then you have a wash station and we'll talk about the automated washing that can take place even on a manual instrument. The new Affinity ITC Auto goes even a step further by adding another automated arm on the left hand side of the instrument that fills the cell automatically when coupled to an auto sampler. You have wash stations for both the injection syringe and the cell fill arm so that you can do fully automated cleaning which we will talk about later in the presentation as well. You have an injection syringe arm and then the access ports for the sample and reference cells. So as you think about ITC, think about a manual version that you can then fully upgrade in the field that has many, many new features on it. This, has been, this instrument has been under development for a period of about three years. We couple the instrument with an industry proven HPLC grade auto sampler to make sure that you get reliable liquid handling in an automated mode. But we don't sacrifice sensitivity. You continue to get the highest sensitivity performance that you can get on an ITC. One of the advantages with the Affinity ITC is that you can have manual versions and automated versions of a low volume uh, instrument with cells that have an active, active cell volume of about 190 microliters and the standard volume cells that are one milliliter in size. There are several new innovations in the Affinity ITC I'll talk about individually and we thought about the software. The bottleneck many times when you think about automating techniques like this is data analysis. So what tools will you have to analyze multiple files in a batch. The new Affinity ITC gives you a choice of cell volumes. The low volume at 190 microliters and the standard volume at one milliliter. We in, the innovation in stirring is one that has long uh, been the same on ITC for many, many years. The new flex spin stirring technology is an innovation that allows very slow speed stirring and yet you get efficient mixing and the highest sensitivity you can get in an ITC. The new AccuShot injection technology is separate from the stirring technology now and delivers the titrant at the right location to make sure that you get efficient mixing as quickly as you can get it. There's one injection syringe that covers all sizes of these instruments so that you make sure that up to 250 microliters that you can, in, you can deliver whether you have a standard volume or whether you have a low volume instrument. 
We also have new intelligent hardware positioning to make sure that the positioning of the instruments is, the hardware on the instruments is precise and reliable so that you get your injections as you program them in the ITC run software. And the final point is that the new Affinity ITC is fully field upgradable to full automation, 96 well plate, temperature controlled, industry proven HPLC auto sampler. And we'll talk about that a little bit later in a slide. And we'll also talk about software. I'll show you a little demo later in the, in the presentation that will give you an idea of how we've uh, incorporated new features in the data analysis and in the data acquisition that will help you when you start thinking about sample throughput. The Affinity ITC Auto is almost the same in the sense that all of the new innovations are incorporated in that instrument as well. As you, as you uh, add the new arm on the side for full automation, you don't sacrifice the cell volume. You can still automate either standard volume or low volume instruments. You get the HPLC grade auto sampler. You have the new flex spin stirring technology, the new AccuShot injection technology, and the new intelligent hardware positioning. So you don't sacrifice anything by going to automation. And then the software features are always applicable depending upon how many files you have to uh, analyze at one time. Flex spin stirring. So what is it? Well first, you have a very thin flexible support wire that comes down and supports an innovative stir paddle design. As you see in the inset, you can see that it is separate from the injection cannula that comes down right beside it. The flex spin control is one that where you can uh, it, it program it, it the on off and the stir speeds are controlled from ITC run. The stir speed range is one that many people are not used to seeing on ITC from about 0 to 200 RPM with a recommended stir speed of 75 RPM. So that all those sensitive, maybe fragile proteins are not damaged by having excess stir speeds during the ITC titration. So what is the AccuShot injection technology? Well, it is a sample injection cannula separate from the stirring mechanism. And as you can see it on the right hand side at the bottom uh, figure is that it injects the sample at the top of the stirring paddle, not at the bottom. This is something for many, many years, stirring and injection technology for ITC has always remained the same. This is changing it. The same injection syringe, 250 microliters, as you see it on the top of the injection arm, out of harm's way so that it doesn't uh, necessarily uh, have the potential of breakage or damage that have seen with other ITC instruments. And you have a high precision stepper motor for injecting, thing, uh, injecting samples at an injection precision of getting down into the nanoliter range. It's accurate, it's easy to replace, it's something that can be done by a user. The control again is strictly under the control of ITC run and last minute editing or on the fly editing for injection volumes and spacing ensures that you optimize the amount of reagents that you use. And you can always save and retrieve experimental templates for use uh, at a later time or by another user. Intelligent hardware positioning ensures that as you start to use an automated system, that if it varies a little bit because of wear or other things within the mechanical operating of it, if it is off by just a little, you're not going to damage your instrumentation. You have fixed in place alignment tabs that ensure the perfect alignment of the injection system or the cell loading system exactly in the cell or exactly in the right place in the washing station. You have to have some flexibility on the instrument to be able to do that. And with alignment springs that are embedded in the mechanical arms at the top, is that when there is a small adjustment, it allows it to make it without damaging the hardware. It will make the adjustment very easily and each time that it needs to make it. So intelligent hardware positioning ensures the reliability of the mechanical arms as they move time after time after time under heavy use. The auto sampler that's used. It's an industry proven HPLC grade auto sampler. It has two 96 well plates. One is for the cell sample and one plate is for the injection sample. 
It is user programmable. The controlled uh, uh, temperature control storage area where you see the plates there pointed out on the picture is that you can set the temperature from ambient temperature in the laboratory down to four degrees for those precious proteins that perhaps are unstable at room temperature. And then the sample path is completely compatible with aqueous solvents as all ITC instruments are. One of the things that we talk about when we get to the cleaning is what can you use to clean as you think about cleaning the entire sample path from the time it touches the uh, auto sampler injection syringe or sample handling syringe all the way to the waste port on the back of the instrument after the titration has been completed. So on those cleaning protocols, one of the, thing on the, one of the improvements on the uh, Affinity ITC is that you have a dedicated wash and rinse station for injection and stirring mechanisms. And what that means is that it's fully programmable by the user and you get fully automated cleaning of the injection and stirring system. On the standalone manual system, you still have to use a cleaning tool to clean the cell, which is almost uh, always done on any ITC that's a standalone instrument. But on the injection and stirring systems, you have automated cleaning. You can choose from four solvents access points on the back of the instrument. So if you wanted to use methanol and water or a cleaning solution in a specific order, you can program it in and it would automatically clean the stirring and injection system. It is user programmable and the cleaning methods that you set up, you can then save and retrieve so that you can use them at a later time. So what about cleaning protocols for the auto sampler? This is the biggest question we get most of the time is, how do you clean that entire system? Well, you have dedicated wash and rinse stations for both the cell loading needle and the injection and stirring system. And the user can program those cleaning methods for the complete sample path, all the way through the auto sampler, all the way to the, through the cells to the waste port on the instrument. And you have a choice of five solvents. Those five solvents are, the access port is on the side of the auto sampler, such that you can make sure that from the tip of the liquid handling needle all the way to the tip of the waste port is that you can, in, you can clean that entire sample path. And by programming it, saving the template, you can insert it just about anywhere you want in the sequence of events of running samples or cleaning samples as you need. So how effective is it? This is just a snapshot of data that was taken on an Affinity ITC Auto where we ran two RNAs 2 prime C titrations. Prior to those titrations, we ran some buffer buffer titrations just as a measure of whether or not the cells and the system, the injection system, are clean. One of the things that we did when we did that was then do two sequential titrations followed by a cleaning, and then two additional buffer titrations after the RNAs 2 prime CMP titrations. And the data you see there seems to indicate that there are no uh, aberrations in the, in the buffer buffer titrations that would indicate any residual material remaining in the cells. What's the data reproducibility? This is again another snapshot of running 12 different RNAs 2 prime CMP titrations on an Affinity ITC Auto with a cleaning step in between. And as you can see, the reproducibility, they would lay right on top of one another if we were to not offset them as we do in this slide. Thinking that the, uh, that the reproducibility is something that you can depend on each time and that you don't have to worry that putting in a cleaning step would then influence the data following that particular cleaning step. Data quality. What I show you on this slide is a snapshot of a titration of copper into BSA, a very sticky protein. On the left hand side is our nano ITC uh, titration and on the right is the affinity ITC titration. And as you can see, both data sets are reasonable. I'll, I'll point out that on the right hand side, if you look at the very first injection that's made on the Affinity ITC, you will see that that peak is far more usable 
than the one that is typically seen on most ITC instruments, whether it's a nano ITC or other competitive instruments out in the field. So the data quality here is very high on the Affinity ITC. We feel it gives you an advantage in thinking about the data quality being at the highest level on every experiment. The sample throughput. We're always asked, what, how many samples can we do in a 24-hour period? Well, that's dependent on a lot of factors, and what we like to do is, is go through the steps that you see on the slide here, is that the ITC automation is going to provide the most accurate data you can get in an automated fashion, and that you're going to be able to run somewhere between 10 and 50 samples in a 24-hour period, depending on what your user-defined parameters are for the, the injections and the frequency of the cleaning steps. The exact sample throughput is dependent on a lot of sample uh, experimental details. Everything from sample concentration to kinetics, how many cleaning steps you're actually going to run, and even more. One of the things that we like to suggest to customers with the Affinity ITC when they start thinking about automation is call us up and let our TA Instruments application support experts talk to you about uh, how long it will take <clears throat> to actually clean, how many titrations you need to run, what kind of binding constant are you going to have. All those things will help in determining what the actual throughput is going to be. We also offer a software tool, which is a titration simulation and optimization tool in NanoAnalyze. It's one of those things that has developed over the years and has become a very useful tool in thinking about running a titration that may not be optimum and then going and letting uh, the software help you optimize, for example, sample concentrations or think about uh, uh, injection intervals. Those are the kinds of things that that tool can help you do when you start thinking about throughput. The Affinity ITC Auto Software is something that we like to put forward as, as an advancement in thinking about how you actually set up the experiment. ITC Run is the data acquisition and instrument control software that you're going to be seeing when you start up the instrument. It has an automatic configuration so that if you're using a standalone instrument or an automated instrument, it will automatically configure the interface so that it knows exactly which instrument you're running. We use individual viewing tabs so that you can look at experimental setup. You can look at, you can monitor the instrument performance as it's going along. You can actually see the data in real time. Easy experimental setup, easy complete system cleaning setup, all of those steps are done in a very central, easy to use um, user interface that will get you started quickly and easily. The data analysis, which I show here, is the batch analysis wizard that is used. It's something that has many, many features that over the last three to four years have improved to where we feel it is second to none in analyzing either ITC data or DSC data, any kind of calorimetry data. You get easy to use batch processing. You have experimental design and optimization tools. You can select fitting models. You can drag and drop subtraction baselines. All of the, the different points that you see on the side of the slide here says that data analysis does not become the bottleneck when you start thinking about generating multiple files every day. So at this point I'm going to have a short uh, demo of software. What you see on your screen now is the initial operating screen for NanoAnalyze, the data analysis package that is provided with the Affinity ITC Auto. I'm going to proceed the through the necessary steps of doing a batch process on all 19 files that you see listed on the left that I've imported into NanoAnalyze. The first step is to go up to Batch Processing menu and select Create New ITC Batch. When I do that, a wizard pops up that is where all the calculations are going to take place for all 19 files. The first thing I need to do is add in the files that I want to actually calculate, and by going to the green cross, clicking on it, you'll see all the files will pop up in a window that are available to me to be put into this particular batch. I highlight them 
and then click on add to add them to this particular batch that I'm going to be doing. You'll see they are all added into the wizard window. The next thing I need to do is add the model that I'm going to be using and I click on the asterisk in the models box and select the independent model for this particular fit by highlighting it and then clicking OK. You'll see the default parameters appear which are going to be used to fit all of these curves. I'm then going to click on the ones that I actually want to see which are going to be the delta H, the delta G, and the minus T delta S. I can highlight as many as I want to see but those are the ones I'm going to look at today. The second model I'm going to add after going over to the asterisk again is a blank constant. This will help fit the data correctly by subtracting the heat of dilution and correcting the final titrations to zero. So once I've had that fit into place, then I can begin to say, okay, I want to start stepping through all of these files with that individual model. I now go to the processing, win processing button and click on it and it will recalculate all the data. You'll notice a green arrow appearing on the left hand side of each file as it processes it. You'll also see a green check for those that are finished. While it's processing it, when it's finished you will see it will populate all of the columns including delta H, delta G, and minus T delta S. You'll also see that it's creating a bar graph and this is that bar graph that I showed you earlier in the presentation that has become the standard way of representing the thermodynamic profile of most bi molecular binding events. As it proceeds through the files you'll see it takes a very short period of time for each individual file and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the list so we'll get an indication of how close we are to getting to the bottom. Most of the time for these 19 files it takes about a little over a minute to process all 19 files so that you can begin to look at each one. So in the next 20 to 25 seconds we should have processed all 19 files and you can begin to look at each individual file and determine the commonalities for each of them and any of them that you might see that would be an outlier to what you expected when you started your titration and your analytical process. So within the next 10 or 15 seconds we're going to go through the final three files and then I'll show you some of the tools available when you start comparing files. With the final one completed I will move my cursor over one of the bar graphs and you will see that it will be magnified up in the left hand corner of the window. This lets you begin to look at it in a little more detail and as I scroll over each individual bar graph it changes. Suppose I wanted to see the raw data. Just scroll over to the left to the name of the file and I can see the raw data file and the baseline that was used to calculate the areas under each one of those curves. If I wanted to export the data, I would then move my cursor up to an icon along the icon bar that says export data to a file and you can export either to an Excel file or to a delimited text file. If you want to look at an individual file, just move your cursor over the, to the name of the file in the left, click on it, and that individual file will appear, the raw data. Click on the analysis button, you see the raw data, and then on the modeling window, and it will show you the exact model it fit as it was analyzing that particular file. So with that, NanoAnalyze has given you a way to analyze multiple files easily and quickly. The software is available free with the Affinity ITC Auto as well as the lifetime of the instrument you will get free updates. It's powerful, it's easy to use, and it is continually being updated so that if you need a feature TA Instruments will provide the software that you need. So as you're thinking about automated ITC, this is one of those tools that will help you get your data done easily and quickly. In summary, TA Instruments is very excited about the introduction of the Affinity ITC. It is an instrument that has innovations such as flex spin stirring technology for efficient slow speed mixing. 
and AccuShot injection technology for the precision delivery of titrant at the top of the stirring paddle. And with these two systems being separate, this is an innovation that is long overdue in this particular technique. It is an instrument that is field upgradable to a reliable, fully automated ITC, and even in the standalone instrument, you have automated cleaning of the injection and stirring systems. Where others have attempted, TA has perfected in the automation of ITC. It has unmatched reproducibility from titration to titration. It has user programmable, complete efficient system cleaning, tip to tip. And you get the highest data quality every experiment. You get a choice of cell volumes. You can automate either the standard volume one milliliter system or the Affinity ITC low volume system. It has an industry proven auto sampler that is an HPLC grade 96 well plate auto sampler. It is temperature controlled so that for those precious samples that need to be down at four degrees, you can program it and hold the samples at four degrees. The flex spin technology allows a stirring system separate from the injection cannula. The unique paddle design, the stir speeds at zero to 200 RPM all give it an advantage with a recommended stir speed of as low as 75 RPM. The AccuShot injection system is not integrated, in, integrated into the stirring mechanism. It delivers titrant at the top of the stirring paddle. It has high precision stepper motor for the accurate volume delivery with a precision down in the nanoliter range. The intelligent hardware positioning has fixed in place alignment tabs and corresponding alignment springs that allow it to make sure that all the hardware is in the correct position every time. The Affinity ITC throughput is variable. You can get anywhere from 10 to 50 samples done in a 24 hour period. That's all dependent on experimental design and other things that have to do with each experiment that you program in. But the resources of TA applications experts and the optimization tool in NanoAnalyze let you easily and quickly determine what that throughput might be. The Affinity ITC Auto has complete sample path cleaning with a choice of five different wash and rinse softens that is user programmable and allows you to clean tip to tip so that you make sure your instrument is completely clean in between each run. And then of course software features. This is something that when you generate a lot of samples is that this becomes the bottleneck, but TA has thought of that. And the software features of batch analysis, enhanced graphing tools, being able to optimize experiments will allow you to very easily uh, uh, generate the data in the ITC run data acquisition software, as well as analyze the final raw data files in NanoAnalyze. And with that, I would like to end and say thank you for your time. If you'd like additional information on this new exciting Affinity ITC Auto instrument, contact TA Instruments, go to their website, at TAinstruments.com or send an email to microcalorimeter support at TA Instruments. Thank you for your time.